Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another brand new model. This is the first of 13 models that I purchased. I purchased this on April 10th, 2015 from Troy's Toys, based out of Overland Park, Kansas. He still had a bunch of them still available. You definitely want to get your hands on this one because we already know all United models eventually sell out eventually. Okay? This is a Gemini Jets United 757-300 with the winglets and a 1-200 scale model. This was Continental's 757, but since they emerged about five years ago, they all been flying under the United Banner. So, they have 21 of these in, op in service right now. And they use them mostly on transcontinental and domestic routes, but I'm going to give you the heads up what they use these uh, aircraft for okay on the routes okay they use it from Los Angeles to Honolulu Hawaii Honolulu Hawaii Newark New Jersey Houston Intercontinental San Francisco Chicago and from Denver to San Francisco and from Chicago to San Francisco to Los Angeles Newark to Manchester England Birmingham England Paris Charles de Gaulle in Los Angeles and from Washington Dulles to Portland, Oregon. Okay, United is based out of Chicago. No, the headquarters is at the Willis Tower in Chicago, but their main hub is based out of Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Okay, they also have hubs in Newark, New Jersey, Washington Dulles. Houston Intercontinental, Houston, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Los Angeles, LAX, and San Francisco. That's where their main hub's at right now. So, with that said, I'm going to give you details of this uh, box and what came with it and everything. Okay. That's the gear replacements right there. That's the stand that came with it. And then... So you the uh, box here. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna turn this. That's the side of the box. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's the box back of the box here. Now, you know, I did a Delta 757 300. You know, they they come in with these improved boxes on here, so just be aware of it. When you get yours, this is what you can expect on yours. Let me get this. Okay, this is what you can expect on yours. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down real slowly so y'all can read it. Okay, and that's where the uh, the model was in at. Now I'm getting ready to show you how it came padded and everything. They doing some new padding on that as well. So here we go here. There you go right there. It's kind of part foam, part plastic. And I'm going to take this off here. Okay. That is... The model folks okay now I'm gonna pull this out here for a minute okay okay all right now I'm getting ready to um I'm gonna touch right here folks okay Okay, there you go. This is the model, folks. All right. Now I'm going to start at the front of the plane here, folks, okay? Let me stop a close look, okay? All right. Okay. Let's start right here. 
the Star Alliance logo. You know, they affiliate with Air China, Air New Zealand, Thai, Lufthansa, and some other heavy hitters and all that stuff. Uh, there's the E tops right there. 0858. There's the gears right there. Okay, and there's the the front boat bend door. All right, this is a narrow by, so it's boat bend door. So, and then that's the first class section right there, folks. And then you see the United uh, billboard across the uh, fuselage there. And then you see that little nice little beauty streak of gold there. I'm always impressed with that because you know this was Continental's livery at first. And then there's the Ro the Rolls Royce Trent engine here. Okay, and then there's the tail light right there, folks. The tail light right there. And then from this section on back here, that's Economy Plus. And then it's another section about right there. That's Economy Plus as well. Okay, that's Economy Plus right there. And that's like 57 seats and everything else is all, is all Economy. So 24 first class. 57 economy plus and 132 economy seats brings a total of 213 passengers okay this is the stretch version of the 757 all right there's the winglet there then there's the beacon light right there pretty brief right there and then you see the uh rear uh bulk bend door and then you see the uh the registration number N 75858 okay and then you see the US flag there alright see the part registration number on this part of the fuselage as well and then you see the Continental logo it was Continental but now it's United United is using the uh, Continental logo as we speak if you don't know by now okay and then then there's the APU not very detailed there. We start at the back and work the way front. Okay, there's the uh, tail on here. The logo, pretty cool. All right, then the registration number right here. There you go. Then the, the U.S. flag there. Then you see the red beacon light right there. Then the little winglets right here. Okay. Then you see the uh, the Trent Rolls Royce engine, and then you see the uh, the wing the wing light there. Then you see the United billboard on this side. Then you see the gears right here, very detailed, seven fifty seven three hundred. Yeah, so bring this up closer a little bit. Okay. Okay, you see the star lines there, very detailed there. And then you see the uh cockpit windows and the windship wipers right there. Pretty impressive. Okay, I'm just... they spent a little bit, not much. Probably gonna be disappointed on that, but other than that. I was, I was happy with this model, so, so far, so good, okay, okay, get the top of it, there's the pearl beacon light, antenna number one, then you go back over this way, the hump light, that's for internet, mobile, and Wi-Fi uses there, another antenna there, and then you see the wing, the wing walkway right there, folks. And then you come back over this way, see the uh, little streak of gold right there, the blue and the little gold right there, and then the blue up, cool. Same on this side as well. See? See? And you see the, the red beak, uh, beacon light on this side, same with the green on this side, pretty cool. Alright. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to show you the bottom of the fuselage. Okay. There's the gears right there. 
is right there. They do tilt, but they barely roll. There's the hole where the stand goes in at. There's the uh, beacon right there. Then there's the Gemini's uh, silver proof right there. Then there's the antenna there. Put it right there. Now time to put it on the stand. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put it on here briefly because these stands are not that good on here. So work with me, everybody. Okay, I ain't gonna put it on there. It's too much headache trying to put it on there. But uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, retractable gear. So I'm gonna have to turn this upside down. Forgive me, folks, if I didn't, I couldn't put it on the stand. All right, you can take these off. Okay, well, I took that. Yeah, you take that off right there. And then there's the gear replacement right here, folks. You no, know, you no, know, go. Gears up, gears down, you find with or without the gears, your choice. All right. Okay. So. I wish Jim and I would go ahead and address the issue about these stands. The stands don't hold that good. So. So. Okay. I'm going to try to put it on the stand. Hold on a second, folks. Okay, folks. Yeah, there we go. Got it on the stand, so. And I ain't gonna peep it on here too long, because no, they don't hold that good, so. I'm gonna do a re revolve around it. Okay. All right. I'm going to take this off here for a second. Okay, folks. This is all I have for this model. So, if you don't got it, you probably want to hurry up and go get it because we already know United sells out pretty quickly and this will probably sell out as well since they, it's been a while since Jim and I dropped the United, especially in this caliber in a while. And I got a feeling we're going to see pretty more United pretty soon. You know, a six seven. You know, it'd be nice to bring six seven. You know, it'd be nice to see that. But uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Please rate and subscribe. Please put a like on there and see. And then send me your suggestions and comments down at the bottom of this video and see what I can do to improve my video quality. Okay. In the meantime, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more coming.